Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science Study Guide on Earth Science. Remember, you have a study guide and answer key for each video. Print the study guide out, watch the video, fill it out if you can, then you can check your answers, and then you have an easy way to study for tests and quizzes. So let's get started with the video. Moo Moo Math and Science and a simple diagram of the rock cycle. And the rock cycle basically illustrates how, say, an igneous rock can become a metamorphic rock, or a metamorphic rock can become a sedimentary rock, or a sedimentary rock can become an igneous rock. So I'll break it down step by step so you know what's going on with the rock cycle. So let's get started. So we have the three major types of rocks of the rock cycle. We have igneous, which are born of fire. So I'll use, this is fire by the way, I'll underline that with fire. And then we have sedimentary that is born of, many of them come from sediments. And there's a process that many of them follow in order to be creative and that is called WEDCCA, W-E-D-C-C -C, for weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. And I'm gonna use the shorthand, WEDCCA, W-E-D-C-C. And then, so then we have metamorphic, which come under heat and pressure. So I'm going to underline these with orange for heat and pressure. And by the way, that is a terrible fire at the top for igneous. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's say, how does a sedimentary rock become an igneous rock? And I'm going to use this color on purpose because it requires heat and it actually melts. Now the igneous rock can be intrusive or extrusive. If it melts, if it cools on the surface, it's extrusive. If it cools inside the earth, it is intrusive. So how about a sedimentary rock becoming a metamorphic rock? Well, I'm gonna use a different color there and it's going to require heat and pressure, but the heat is different than an igneous rock because it does not melt it completely. Now, how about a igneous rock becoming a sedimentary rock? Well, it uses wed kaka, weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. Well, how about an igneous rock becoming a metamorphic? Yes, you have it. It requires heat and pressure. Now, a metamorphic rock can become an igneous rock if it is exposed to so much heat that it melts. So I'm just going to write melts from heat. Okay, so what have I missed here? How about a metamorphic becoming a sedimentary? And that is wed kaka. Okay, and then I think I've covered all these. And then we have magma, which is molten rock underground. And sometimes it will cool and create an intrusive igneous rock underground. And then sometimes it goes to the surface by uplifting and that creates an extrusive igneous rock. Okay, in addition, the sedimentary rock can become a sedimentary rock, but I went with the wrong color pen, so let me fix that. Sedimentary rock can become a sedimentary rock. Yes, you guessed it by wed CC. And let me point out one other thing. The CC, the compaction, and the cementation, sometimes that is called lithification. And then the metamorphic rock can become a metamorphic rock with heat and pressure. Sometimes that's called metamorphism, okay? And then the igneous rock, yes, can become an igneous rock with heat and pressure, excuse me, heat and melting. And many times, depending on the rate of cooling, you get crystals, okay? And so, again, I think that pretty much covers the rock cycle. Remember, the rock cycle is when rocks change from one type of rock into another, into another type of rock, 
and then maybe even into the same type. If you'd like to know more about different types of rocks in the rock cycle, this playlist will help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.